My name is Michael Waldron, uh, conductor and artistic director of the London Choral Symphonia. I'm here with Jack Liebeck, violinist, with whom we recorded Vaughan Williams' Violin Concerto, known as the Concerto Academico. And I'm here with Jack today to have a little chat about the piece and find out his thoughts and a little bit of insight into it. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again, Jack. <laughs> um, so we recorded this piece together a little while back, yep. um, and obviously we talked a lot about it at the time, but I'd be interested to know from your perspective as the soloist, um, what you think of it as a piece, as a soloist, and more broadly in terms of Vaughan Williams' output. Yeah. I mean, I, obviously, as a violinist, I'm m more familiar with the Lark Ascending, right? Uh, and as is probably our entire audience uh, and the universe, um, this piece is not would not be considered sort of like the general canon repertoire of the of the instrument. And uh, I knew it existed, but I hadn't really discovered it much. It's one of those rare things. There aren't actually that many violin concertos with just string orchestra. Okay, um, which is why it puzzles me that this piece is not better known. When we are looking for pieces to play with string orchestra, we sort of stop at Mendelssohn D minor violin concerto and go, mm, what else is there? Um, but this is there and uh, just strangely, it's just not part of the, the wider repertoire and that's our job in this recording is to it is. And give it I, life. We obviously both think that it's a piece of great merit and great beauty. What do you think uh, an audience or listener to this recording may really like about it? I cannot actually get over how beautiful the second movement is. Right. For me, the second movement is the, the heart of the piece. It's one of the most exquisite pieces of violin solo playing with, with any orchestra I think I've ever heard. Yeah. Um, for, I think the piece kind of um, appeals to my way of expressing myself, which mm. is um, it's very simple, but with lots of incredibly beautiful filigree detail and shape and little passages that I like sort of playing around with and yeah. making them have something. Um, if you take the material, it's very basic, mm. very simple. You know, how I, I always go back to how with a singer, mm. singer, and that's so interesting because you, you work with singers yeah, all the time. Yeah. Um, a singer would be on stage moving their arms with, yeah. you know, if it was a lead a song recital, it would be da 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 da. I'm always There's going. a real fluidity. Exactly. To it, the thing that makes us human is the imperfections. Mm. When I say imperfections, I mean if you were to feed it into a computer, it would do every note equally mm. and it would be perfect. The thing that makes are playing human is the imperfections. The fact that I'm not going little sway of the shoulders in a phrase, enjoying the shape of a absolutely. Of a note. It it's feels then it. that you're there's a story, for want of a better word, that you're telling something that's real and that can, if it's done successfully, which it is when you play this piece, that. It, it brings the listener in and takes yeah. the listener on that journey, but it, it's a way of connecting the music yeah. to the person. Absolutely, and, and it's down to our imagination what we want to do with it. And I think in contrast to the first and final movements, both of which are super high energy, quite kind of brittle in a yeah. way, it is a tonic in the middle of all of those. But how do you find playing the first and last movement? I have to say, the first and third movement are not particularly comfortable from a violinistic okay. perspective. They're very, it's very rhythmic, and the violin is not particularly a rhythmic instrument. Mm -hmm. So to, to play, it's almost like a percussion dr drum or something. To play rhythms like that isn't super comfortable right. on the violin. So it needs a lot of physical organisation to okay. make it possible to not be rhythmically all over the place. I also remember practicing this piece, that it's full of fifths, which is, right. which is really, <laughs> on the violin, fifths are just the worst thing. To put your finger per, super easy to play them out of tune. And they're all over the place, incredibly high up as well on the violin. Explain them to us. That, is, that is typical uh, Vaughan Williams. He okay. does it in the Larkison. I mean, that's fifths as well. Right. All that. It's yeah. very difficult. That's and it. unlike the lark, which, as you've demonstrated, has similar kind of material, there's yeah. a real verticality to when it comes in this. Yeah. When this happens in the lark, you're on your own. Yeah. And you it, could, yes. yeah, or there's not some direct movement with, say it's not in the same quaver movement or, uh, with you, whereas this is has to be rhythmic as well as engineered. 
all together, and then they, and then it happens again. It, it's tricky, and then there's all this um, difficult string crossings. This, all that stuff. It's it's tr it's um, tricky to do it accurately. And I think with this piece, what was apparent to me when we were recording this and when we did it in concert as well is your ability to bring out all those colours in a, what's a relatively short concerto. Mm. It's packed full of different textures, different colours, different ideas, different moods. Yeah. And you, via the instrument, exploited those to the max. Yeah, I mean, that that is... Thank you, firstly. Uh, that is um, our job. You know, our job as performers is to make every piece profound as much as we can and um, I hope that if we've done our job right other people are going to listen to this piece and go, I want to play that piece. Let's hope something. So. That's so. If we've done our job right, we, <laughs> we will um, uh, bring out that, that shape and that colour and I'm actually really proud of this recording and I hope Great. That it will as be I'm received, you play it received very well. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. Jack, it's been great to chat and Congratulations on the recording. Thank you. Congratulations to you.